go to easymud.com. Use code CUTE for your discount for the cheapest, fastest delivery. You can even get an instant refund, but why would you? Go save your money. I love this company. You will too. Go enjoy your coins. All right, guys, we're back. Top 10 quarterbacks. We're going to clear up the picture. I already did a video on Steve Young today and Lamar Jackson. This is third video of the day. I really don't know how much longer I'll be able to do third videos every single day because the lack of content and people have really moved on from this game. So, uh, of course, when Madden 24 comes out, I'll be doing about, I don't know, six videos a day or more. So, let's go ahead and get started here. Anthony Richardson's not going to be higher on the list because generic two, not the best release, and they messed up his abilities. How about that? So Anthony Richardson is not going to be a special quarterback. He a human joystick as a running back. I mean quarterback. He's supposed to be a running back, right? So yeah, you're going to have a, a not the best release, and his AP setup is not the best, so he's not higher on the list. Up next is John Elway. If you haven't used this card, you're going to love him. If you like to set in the pocket, he's so accurate. He gets all 32 teams. Slinger 1 is nice. So, he doesn't get no crazy AP setup. He doesn't get the best. But, if you're looking for a pocket passer, him and Montana are basically the same card. Up next is Steve McNair. This guy's a little more athletic. Slinger 3 is the best deep ball release. Slinger 1 is the best short ball release. So, I like McNair a little bit better because I throw the ball deep more than I do short. However, if you need this card, I would definitely go get him for 175K. He's a steal. Up next is going to be Steve Young. Back to Slinger 3. So, he's super athletic. You can actually juke with him. I like his juke better than his spin. He's about 430K right now. And no, they gave him nothing crazy with his AP setup. So, if I was you, I would not worry about breaking a bank for this card if you just want to get steve mcnair instead i will say that young is more shifty than mcnair uh really they're so similar guys you can just really interchange them now tim tebow can get 99 speed he's a good runner he's not as good as runner as ricky b he does get slinger three and you see what he gets he only gets one spot for zero so this card here is actually going to be good enough to use till the end of the year He's 245k right now. Don't overpay for him. Just be patient. And Ricky Williams is up next. Best runner in the game at quarterback. He gets juke and spin run animations. His release is good. His speed is good. He's fun. He's slinger three for 400k. And he only gets one spot for zero. So he does not have the best AP setup. If you're looking for the best runner, go get Ricky. Matthew Stafford has a crazy AP setup. If you're just a pocket passer, you want an AP setup for 300k? Go get Stafford. You will not regret it. He's actually that good. So, a great AP, good release. As long as you don't mind running, you're going to like him. Aaron Rodgers is up next. He's going to be a little more athletic than Matthew. He's going to get the same AP setup. Slinger 1 is super nice. And, yeah, he's going to get two spots for zero. So, yes, Aaron Rodgers is going to be fine. Super accurate, super consistent. Love the card. Zach Wilson is more athletic than Aaron Rodgers. That's the only reason he's higher. Because they get the AP set up the same, did the same release. But I want to tell you right now, Zach Juke spinning feels way better. So if you get in the open field, sometimes you need that. Wilson's going to be able to give that to you. But the best quarterback in the game is Lamar Jackson. He comes with 99 speed. Juke spin, all that feels amazing. All 32 teams. Slinger 3 is amazing. And yes, he gets the best AP setup a game that is tied with Zach, Aaron, and Matt. So, that's going to do it for me, guys. I don't know how many more times I can do three videos a day because the content slowed down so much. But uh, when Madden 24 comes out, I'll be doing probably more than six videos a day. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Hit the like button. Uh, go watch the Steve Young video I just did. And I did Lamar Jackson. I'll see you in the next video. Special shout out to Justin Ashley for joining the channel. If you guys want to shout out in the video, all you do is join the channel. Thank you for all support. It means everything.